Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to label the notes on your keyboard. So this is useful if you're a beginner and you want to just speed up the process of playing some songs. Once you are familiar with the names of the notes, then you can take off the labels. So a few different ways of doing it. You can just buy some stickers. Um, so on the deck play method, we use a number system instead of, of letters. That makes it much faster. Um, so you can just buy them like that from one to seven are the numbers we use. You can buy some blank stickers and just write on, on the numbers or you can just use a, a whiteboard marker. So you don't want a permanent marker that <laughs> won't come off. You want um, a dry wipe marker from a whiteboard. So I'll show you how to apply this and I'll show you how to take it off as well. So. Um, so with the stickers, it's the same process, whether you're writing on it or using stickers. So what you do is you go to the center of the keyboard. It doesn't matter how big your keyboard is. Go to the center and then uh, you'll see the two black notes there. You go one to the left and the white note there is your starting point. So this is, is, is middle C. So in, in classical terms, that's a C. Uh, we call it a one in the deck player system. So we're just going to write a one and we write the numbers or put the stickers just at the side of the black notes out of the way of our fingers. Otherwise they get worn and smudge. Um, so we simply go one to seven on the white notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we um, repeat this up and down the keyboard. So Again, you go to the two black notes below and this one here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the same up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, etc. So uh, our left hand plays. So if we put a little dot here. So that's the. That's the middle note so that's where our right hand starts our left hand is going to play these seven and our right hand is going to play these up here so just to uh, differentiate in between these numbers here and these for the right hand we're just going to put a line under these i'm going to call this the low range so that's low one low five low seven and this is one five seven and then we can carry on up here one, two, three. I'm just going to put a line over the top of them. That goes up further, but it normally most tunes only go from about this range here. Low five, low six, low seven, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. High one, high two, high three. So most of the right hand area will be playing. It just falls in that range there. And our left hand will be playing here from this one up to seven there. So to get them off, um, just any rag with a bit of water, just a damp rag, should get them all off. Now you'll find, just, I'll turn it off so I don't have the sound. So if it doesn't come off fully, then if you use a cleaning agent, so I use um, this thing here, it's uh, white rocks. It's, um, it's just a skin friendly, cleaner and it gets things off incredibly quickly it gets rid of any blue smudges that are that are left there there you go so that's um, that's how to label the keys and how to get the labels off afterwards the same with the stickers if, if you find any of the, of the of the sticky residue is left on the keys then this type of cleaner is great for that 